Uh, hello again. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, enable user authentication on the Konica Minolta BizHub series. Uh, you may want to do that to control user access, uh, keep track of who's uh, using the machine, or perhaps restrict uh, certain functions such as uh, color. So the way we enable that is so I'm going to demonstrate this through the web interface of the machine. So open up your uh, uh, internet browser, uh, type in the IP address of your BISUB machine, and we're now at the welcome screen. So to enable user authentication on the machine, just keep in mind um, we need to log in as administrator, and to log in as administrator no one will be able to use the device while you're logged in as administrator. So we'll go click on to login screen. Are you sure you want to log out the public user? So click OK. You're now at the login screen, so we're going to select to log in at, as administrator and log in. And your admin password, unless that's been changed, type in numbers 1 through to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And OK. Uh, you're now logged in as administrator. So we're going to go here to user authentication slash account track. And in this section, you can see this machine has all the default settings at the moment where user authentication is disabled or turned off. So I'm now going to select user authentication to be on. And what I want to do now is I want to uh, restrict uh, color use, but I also want uh, public user access to be enabled, so that means anyone can walk up to the device and use it as a public user. So I'm going to say that that's on without login, which means you see you can have on with login, so they actually have to select the public user and log in that way. Or we can say it on without login, which means that uh, the public user will always be logged in, but we can still restrict uh, certain functionality for the public user. So just choose your your option there, and I'm going to leave the rest blank. There's also an option there of enable account track that we can talk about later. So select OK to there. The registration, the registered user and account data will be cleared. So there's no data there at the moment, so it's OK to proceed. If you so click OK to that. and just confirming that that's completed, so hit OK. OK, the next thing we need to do is click on user authentication settings here. Then you can see user registration, so we're going to create a new user. Uh, so I'll click on user registration. All we need to enter here is uh, we're going to create a username, so I might call it uh, admin for example. Uh, you can type in a email address if you like, it's not required. Uh, you can type in a password for this user So and re retype that. So now I've created a username and a password and down here is all your restrictions. So I'm going to say I'm creating an admin user now and uh, I'm going to give it a name Okay, so Joe is an admin user and he has no restrictions, but you can see here you can restrict functions on copy, scan and all these other function functions. You can also restrict color or black and we can set a limit in the number of prints or copies that they are allowed to do both in color and black. But I'm, for this exercise I've just got a uh, a admin user that has no restrictions. So OK to that. And confirm that. And on top of that, what I'm going to do now is so I've created one user that has access to everything, but also remember I enabled the public user. So I'm going to click on the public user. And you, as you can see here, the public user you can control 
um, the functionality that they can that they're allowed to uh, perform so in this case I'm going to say output permission for um, for printing I'm going to restrict color and allow everything else so hit OK on that and completed and always remember when you logged in as administrator to click log out once you're finished you sure you want to log out click OK and that's it we have now enabled very basic user authentication on the BISOP thank you for watching and have a nice day